Let's get to KMS. So I will type KMS into the find services and we're getting into the key management service. As we can see, we have three types of keys. We have the customer managed keys, which you can create, but they will cost you some money. Or you have the AWS managed keys and they're created for the services of AWS and the custom key store, which is going to use a cloud HSM cluster that you need to create, own and manage. So using cloud HSM is expensive. So I'm not going to do this because this is not part of the free tier. But as you can see, we can get the option of using a custom key store. Now using the managed keys of AWS is interesting. I want to show you how it works. So for example, let's use the AWS EBS key. So let's go into the EC2 console and we'll try to use that key. So in this example, I'm going to create a volume. So let me go on the volumes on the left hand side. I'm going to create a volume. It's going to be a one gigabyte volume and I'm going to encrypt this volume. Now I have an option, either I choose a master key that is the default master key of AWS for the service, which responds to the key right here, okay? Or I could use my own key, but currently I don't have any keys. So the only option I have is to use this default AWS master key. So this is good, I wanna use this key and click on create volume. And now we have created an encrypted volume. So it is properly protected against, for example, attacks if they're trying to decrypt it. Okay, so this is an example where this is a voluntary opt-in for the encryption. But if you remember, I said that, for example, for CloudTrail or for Glacier S3, encryption was enabled by default. So if I go into CloudTrail and try to use a demo trail, as we can see, if we go into the encryption, even though it says disabled here, the encryption is actually enabled in the S3 bucket. So let's see and have a look at the S3 bucket itself. So in S3, let me go to CloudTrail go to EU West 1, find this file. So I'll go down in my buckets. And if you look at this file right here, if you look at the property for the encryption, it says encryption AES256, which means that this CloudTrail file, even though it said disabled here for the encryption, it actually was enabled in Amazon S3. I won't go over the details of why, but by default, CloudTrail will encrypt all the files no matter what. Okay, so we've seen the services we need to opt in for the encryption then those are, are enabled by default. And then finally, I want to show you about your customer managed keys. So it is possible for you to create a key. Now this will cost you some money. So if you don't want to have a key, just watch me do. So it could be a symmetric key or an asymmetric key. I will keep it simple and use symmetric. And for the origin of the key, we can generate it from KMS or we can have it external. So we need to import our own key. Or as I said, we can have the key generated from a custom key store, which is Cloud HSM. And in which case, all the encryption and the decryption will happen within Cloud HSM. So for this, I'm going to create my own key, my own KMS key. And then I can display an alias for that key. So I'll call it demo key. And then I'll click on next. Then you can define key administrators and key users, which I will skip. So we'll just click on next and again, click on next. Okay. And I will review this key policy. This looks good. I will finish it. And remember, this will cost you $1 if you do this with me. So now I have my demo key and this key is enabled. Now I can do a key rotation. So if I go to key rotation, I can tick this box to make sure this key changes every year, which is for enhanced security. And I can also leverage that key. So back into EBS, if I go and create a volume now and try to create another one gigabyte volume, this time, if I encrypt this volume, the master key can either be the default key managed by AWS for the service, or we can use my demo key and use that for encrypting my EBS volume. So I click on create volume. Here I am, I'm done. And now I have two volumes in here. They're both encrypted, but they're encrypted differently. So they're both encrypted, but this time we are using our own key. And in this one, we're using the key managed by AWS. Okay. So that's it for this lecture, just a short introduction. Finally, if you just want to clean up after yourself, just make sure to delete these volumes. And if you had created a key, again, it will cost you $1 a month, but you can still do a disabling of the key and then schedule this key deletion. That's it for me. I will see you in the next lecture.